Hey everyone, got something new and exciting for you today. I recently bought some titanium scales from Andy over at Beaver Blade Works. His Instagram's right there, check it out. So these are his new do-it-yourself titanium scales. Basically, we got front scale, we got back scale. And in the package, it also includes screws. I went ahead and got a set of screws for Pioneer or Pioneer X. At the time, I wasn't sure what I was going to be building. And, yeah, and so, normally you get three screws. This uh, has six. So what's nice, these guys, you got uh, three millimeter screws. Uh, you also have 2.5 millimeter screws. So this makes it easy, just drop and uh, plug and play. And basically, normally if you do a custom uh, sack, uh, A-lock sack, you gotta drill out all the tools for uh, the pivots, for eighth inch pivots, and then you gotta countersink the screws. So with this guy, all that's taken care of. Basically, screw goes in the front side, and then just screws right the back side is threaded so it just screws right in and you are good to go so today so whether you uh you know want to redo an old knife uh, modify a new one just make a custom tool set of your own you are good to go with these guys so we're going to install them here we're going to actually just build a pioneer so like any great cooking show, I have one already disassembled. I can do a disassembly video at a later time. But we're going to lay out the scales like this so that uh, I'm actually, we're going to build from the, the front side because the screws go through. So I'm going to lay it out like this and just put down the tools as they would be. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, it's on camera. There we go. There's that. We got. Yeah. All right. Spring. We got a liner. Uh, if this is your first time uh, taking apart a or disassembling a AOX, some things uh, to remember. So the this uh, little curvy end matches the keyring. Basically, the blade hangs over the liner. So you want to make sure those are lined up. Because if not, it'll get caught on that lip. So the other thing with the 93 millimeters, they're actually symmetrical. So you can actually flip these back and forth. They will work. If you notice, basically two things here. Uh, the, the opener layer spring is much thinner than the blade layer spring and the opener layer has a little notch there the or the bottle opener it's much shorter where the tang inter interacts so uh, you want to make sure that's lined up correctly the other uh, same thing on the blade layer the longer end goes with the blade the shorter end goes with the awl or whatever you have in this position so with this kit you can also customize anything so if you want to swap this for pruner blade or e-blade you can you could even do any sort of combination uh do a pruner here an e-blade there you know or a small blade from you know 91 millimeter but that involves drilling so it's not as easy so the other thing we want to do so titanium tends to kind of rub stick uh for the uh, against steel so we actually have some brass uh, washers here i'm just going to lay them in place so that when assembling i don't forget them this may or may not have happened so and we're going to use the shorter set of screws here one ran off there we go and so we got the going to set that guy there and then we have these guys here all right well, they're also off of camera okay so we got that all set up 
So what we're going to do is we're just going to start with one side. You know, I, I figured uh, figured out this was actually the easiest way of doing it. Oh, I got all these in the correct spot, right? Yep, make sure. Double check. Always easier to double check. And we've got that guy. Washer. Now you're going to want to have some fluid. Oh. Should start out. Uh, as far as tools that you'll need here. Uh -huh. We'll get to that. So we've got some oil just to keep things lubricated. Um, you can use any oil, three-in-one oil. You can, uh, if you, uh, I know Victorinox makes food-safe oil, so that's also very handy, um, depending on how you're going to use your, uh, use your knife. So, the, as far as tools you'll need, the screws, the three-millimeter screws on the, the ends, the uh, the pivot ends are actually going to be T10. The middle uh, screw is going to be a T8. And we're just stacking these guys up here like so. And we got, oop, we're going to need some oil. Oop. Alright. This guy. Like that. And another dab will do you. Alright, and then the last washer. Boop. Alright. And like I said, they are symmetrical, so uh, the backside scale does have a, a radius on it, chamfer, so that you can keep it all lined up. Um, make sure it goes on correctly. You can install it backwards if you want to. Don't recommend it. All right, so we've got that guy, and then we're just going to flip it over. And we got T10 here. So. All right. So having uh, the beefier screws is really nice. Uh, a lot of custom sacks have uh, T6s, so they tend to strip out. So having uh, the beefier ones is really uh, nice and convenient. So now you have this. We just, we're just going to fan it out right here. And again, start with the screw. And then we're going to need a washer. Do, 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 do. Swap hands here. And drop that in place. All right, boop. All right, and oh no, and going that to lower the boop. Ha ha, jokes. So this is actually my second time assembling it, which is also something really nice. Is you can assemble this as and disassemble as your needs change so we got that um, but i also it allowed me to figure out some tricks to kind of help everyone out so we got blade number two or, well that's not blade number two that's the main blade and second uh, one on this side and i just lost a washer Dropping it in place. Boom. I don't need oil there. Alright, and then we're just going to lower that down. And then the screw will line up. And you can just do that. And then we got our T10. Alright. Now you can tighten them both down. So they will uh, rotate a little bit. All right, so now we got that. We still had to get this screw in, and we got uh, these guys here. So you're just going to put the way the springs in place. Make sure you keep the correct sides uh, there. 
All right, and you want to push them in on both ends. So that A kind of helps center it, but also gets the ends in place. And the other tricky bit is make sure the key ring is also in place because sometimes that tends to be a nuisance. So, all right, we're going to flip it over. So we got the screw side there. If you uh, notice in there, it is semi lined up, but this screw will not go in because the springs haven't gotten all the tension on there. So what we're going to do, I have just some plates here with G10 and we're going to put a clamp on it and basically compress the springs in so that everything will go into place. Now, it's important to notice a vise would be much easier, but a vise also doesn't, uh, isn't in a place where my camera can be. So, when you're doing this, some things important. Um, I try to protect both sides so that uh, the vise clamp, uh, whatever, isn't damaging to scales. So you can use, these are just pieces of G10 I had laying around. Uh, I've also used, you know, bits of leather in the past. So the other thing, uh, if you notice, the oh, I was trying not to do that, but that's fine. The blades tend to angle this way, and you also have a key ring down here. So you want to, when you set this all up, you want to make sure whatever you have on the bottom isn't going to hit the key ring, or even if a uh, like device jaws or anything like that and as far as on the top side you want to make sure you have enough room in whatever you're doing where you're not the blades aren't hitting because no one wants to damage your blade so we're going to throw these guys in here real quick once again and we're going to get this guy clamped up make sure that's correct all right Boom. All right. And the other thing, if you have something on the bottom, you want to make sure that you still have room to access the screw. So that is, um, can get a little troublesome at times. So we got this guy in there and I got a clamp here. Just a normal C-clamp. I think it might even be a Harbor Freight Special. I do not know, but we're just going to tighten this guy down. i try and put the clamp at the, the center. That way it is tightened right there in the spot that we need it. All right, quit turning everybody. And like I said, be careful with the key ring. There we go. All right and turn you will feel tightened down and then at some point not tighten anymore that is what we want and then this screw should just be able to just go right in and we got our t8 right here so you may have to screw it down easy peasy lemon squeezy get it all would help if i wasn't shaking the camera, sorry. Not trying to make everybody uh, seasick there. All right. Oop. So a little bit more, and we should be good to go. All right, so everything is tightened down. All right. And make sure the ends are good. Double check. Let's take this guy out of the clamp. Alright. we go. Like I said, a vise is probably the preferred choice, but didn't have uh, it set up in a camera friendly area. So, oh, it's all put together. It's lubed. It is good to go. We can just go ahead and close everything. Look at that. Nice walk and talk on everything. So, good uh, snap. This is less than 15 minutes to assemble a titanium uh, scaled 93 millimeter. 
pretty sweet and like i said the action on this is great so hit them up uh, on instagram if uh, this is something you want to do and uh oh, boom Sweet. So hit up Beaver Blade Works. And uh, now you know how to assemble it. And if you're doing a Pioneer X, obviously uh, the screw uh, on the blade side, the spring goes in there. So you'd have that one all set up. But it assembles exactly the same. So have any questions, feel free to comment and uh, check out uh, any of my other great videos. Have a good day. Bye-bye.